When you feel all alone in this world and there's nobody to count your tears, just remember no matter where you are, Allah knows. Allah knows. When you're carrying a monster load and you wonder how far you can go. Some people ask and say, well, you say that Islam is the religion of peace. How come is it the religion of peace and it was spread by sword? The answer to that is that Islam comes from the root Arabic word, Salam, which means peace. The second meaning of Islam is submitting and surrendering your will to the Creator, to the Lord of the universe, to Allah the Almighty, and thus be granted peace in this world and in the hereafter. So Islam gives you peace and it is the religion of peace. And its teachings are teachings of peace and justice. And it wasn't spread by sword. As was mentioned by a lot of historians who proved that Islam wasn't spread by sword. Another fact that proves that Islam wasn't sp spread by sword is that Indonesia has the highest Muslim population in the world. 150 million Muslims live in Indonesia. All those Muslims and their grandfathers went into Islam not by sword, by trade. The business Muslims, the traders, who went into Indonesia for trade, for trade reasons, they, with their actions and their morality and their justice, made people of Indonesia go into Islam. And the same thing goes for Malaysia, whose majority, the majority of the population of Malaysia, are also Muslims. And they went into Islam, not by sword. And this is a historical fact. When you feel all alone in this world And there's nobody to count your tears Just remember بيقولوا كمان كيف نسلم لكم إن الإسلام دين الرحمة وقد انتشر الإسلام بالسيف والإجابة أولا المعلومة دي مغلوطة فلم ينتشر الإسلام بالسيف وذكر ديلا سي أولاري من المؤرخين الغربيين المشهورين ولكن هو منصف فقال في كتابه أن المعلومة أو التاريخ ان الاسلام انتشر بالسيف عاري تماما عن الصحة او عارية تماما عن الصحة الاسلام لم ينتشر بالسيف والدليل على كده ان اندونيسيا وماليزيا واندونيسيا فيها 150 مليون مسلم دخلها الإسلام بسبب بسيط جدا تجار المسلمين كانوا بيروحوا هناك عشان يتاجروا فعرفوا الناس بالإسلام وعرف الناس جمال الإسلام عن طريق أخلاق هؤلاء التجار وابتدى ينتشر الإسلام والدعوة تنتشر هناك حتى أصبحت أندونيسيا وهي الآن تعداد سكانها 150 مليون كل السكان 
مسلمين وأما ماليزيا فأغلبية سكانها مسلمين وبرضو انتشر الإسلام فيها بنفس الطريقة When you feel all alone in this world And there's nobody to count your tears Just remember Also, in Spain, for 800 years, Muslims ruled over Spain. And they forced no Christians who lived in Spain to go into Islam. Instead, it was the Crusaders who killed all the Muslims in Spain when they went into Spain. Also, if we would look in the Middle East, there are 14 million Coptic Christians living in the Middle East till our day. The Muslims ruled over the Middle East for 1400 years. And the Arabian Peninsula was ruled by Islam all these years till our day. And they haven't forced anyone, any of these Coptic Christians by sword into Islam. Instead, they were left to practice their faith. So the myth that Islam was spread by sword is proven to be false historically and logically. And even by the Holy Quran, the Holy Scripture, Allah says, in the Holy Quran, no comp compulsion in religion. Truth is clear from error. So there is no compulsion in our religion. People are free. Go, they go into Islam with their free will. We don't get anyone into our religion by sword. And also in India, there, the population of India is 1.2 billion. Muslims ruled India for over a thousand years. And now 80% of Indians are not Muslims. The Muslims could have forced those Indians into Islam when they ruled them, but they didn't. This shows clearly that Islam was not spread by sword. When you feel all alone in this world And there's nobody to count your tears Just remember no man Sanian, the Hind Hakam ha'l muslimun Alf sana Wal Hind dilwati Fiha tamanin fil miya من سكانها غير مسلمين فلو كان المسلمين بينشروا الإسلام بالقوة وبالسيف وحكموا الهند ألف سنة إزاي دلوقتي في 80% من السكان غير مسلمين كانوا أكبروهم كانوا دخلوهم في الإسلام بالسيف ثالثا في في مصر وفي الشام وفي لبنان 14 مليون قبطي دول عايشين مع المسلمين خلال 14 قرن ولم يجبرهم أحد على الدخول في الإسلام فدول دليل شاهد على أن الإسلام لا ينشر بالسيف وإلا كان أكبرهم المسلمين ما كانوش بقوا موجودين دلوقتي كمان أسبانيا حكمها المسلمين 800 سنة في 800 سنة دول لم يكبر لم يكبر النصارى اللي عايشين في اسبانيا على الدخول في الاسلام وانما قتل المسلمون من الصليبيين لما دخلوا الاندلس وفعلوا المجازر المشهوره التاريخيه When you feel all alone in this world and there's nobody to count your tears just remember Instead, Islam is spread by intellect, by calling people to the truth in it, by what it has 
from justice and morality and how the teachings of Islam are close to human nature. This is how Islam was spread. In a statistic made by the Reader's Digest or mentioned in the Reader's Digest about the increase of the major religions from 1934 till 1984. It was found by statistics that Islam is the highest growing religion so that it increased by 240% during these, these years from 1934 till 1985. The increase in this and the peop and people accepting Islam during this period was 240%, whereas Christianity was only 47%. What sword was used to force people into Islam during the period of 1934 till 1985 or 84? What sword was used to force people into Islam? It's the sword of intellect. It's the truth they find in Islam. It's the closeness of human nature that those non-Muslims find in Islam that makes them adopt and go into Islam. When you feel all alone in this world And there's nobody to count your tears Just remember أخيراً استخدام القوة لتحقيق العدل دي قيمة إنسانية متعارف عليها في كل زمان ومكان ولهذا وجدت الشرطة فالشرطة بتستخدم القوة لتحقيق العدل ولنشر الفضائل ولمنع المجرمين ولمنع الجريمة ولمنع الاعتداء على حقوق الآخرين فده شيء مقبول جدا وهو ده الموضع الوحيد اللي بتستخدم فيه القوة في الإسلام لتحقيق الحق والعدل والوصول إليهم وبكده نكون عرفنا الإجابة عن السؤال When you feel all alone in this world And there's nobody to count your tears Just remember no matter where you are Allah knows Monster Lord, and you wonder how far you can.